Hi, Bill Graff, Farm and Ranch Country. Uh, getting to be late November, but it's still dry out. Use an old tillage tool of ours, running it about 15 inches deep. Uh, you can see the points down in the ground here a little bit. Maybe if I go back to the back, you can see it a little better. Um, this really, well, probably about 14 inches deep. Uh, this tool lifts the ground up, picks it up, and drops it back down, and it makes it flat so you can go back and keep no tilling. It's an older type deep tillage tool, vertical tillage, um, but I really like what it does. Trying to take care of some of the compaction, excuse me, that we had back in uh, uh, 2009 when it was real wet and muddy. Some of the ground we got this run through last year, uh, getting some more of the ground run through this year. Uh, trying to pick it on the fields that we harvested the muddiest in uh, 2009 and uh, actually doing some good. Uh, and you think uh, that's a 230 horsepower tractor on the front of it, but it's about all at once with these four shanks running them 14 to 15 inches deep, uh, especially when you hit the areas that's really hard and compacted. Uh, just out here trying to get a little bit better yield. Uh, we'll go ahead and no-till into this uh, uh, soybeans next uh, spring. It'll, it'll, it'll level up enough that we can uh, no-till soybeans into it. And uh, it's just kind of a tool that uh, I like to use. Uh, it's cheap. We bought it a long time ago. Bought it used on a farm sale. Um, and it does the job and gets things done. And just trying to take a little bit better care of the soil and get rid of some of the compaction with some vertical tillage. Um, Bill Graff, Farm and Ranch Country. Uh, still out here working in the field late November. Yeah, once again, just I've lifted it up here. You can see uh, right here, you know what we're doing. It's really fracturing the soil, trembling it up. Uh, but it does leave the ground relatively level. Uh, these parapal shanks, they lift it up and drop it back down. Uh, we're, that back shank, I measured it, it's probably 16, 17 inches in the ground. Um, it pulls hard, but like I said, this hard, compacted ground is doing some good to it. Uh, fracturing up. It's not bad structured ground as it is, but uh, I really like what this tool does and I think it helps us with the yields.